2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. With David Aldridge on our sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. Now Golden State's starting five. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brother, in the backcourt. Bullard is out there with all for these teams. If the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason? Or, in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's never easy. A, a system change would come typically with a coaching change. And the reality is you also have to evaluate the roster. And, and you can't fit that square peg into a round hole. But whatever your system is, it's got to be catered to the personnel you have. You can't go the other way around. And I think that's what separates oftentimes the good coaches from the great ones. And it's clear how confident Junior is. Able to rise and fire with ease. Love it. Easily the pass to Hayes. Here's Ingram over Wiggins. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Junior. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And there are a number of things that make Ingram a dominant force. But what really jumps out at you, the moment you see him, the length. Few wings in league history have had a 7-3 wingspan. Curry trying to break free. And it's Wiggins with the jam. And you can see the floor awareness there. Junior more than capable of spotting the open teammate. Ingram against Wiggins. Kicks it out to Williamson. Hayes dishes to Ingram. It's good. Ingram's got six. I like the attack mindset. Ingram not content to stand out on the perimeter. And Greg, you combine Ingram's length with his emerging skill set. He has got a long career ahead of him in the NBA. I mean, he certainly has the tools. What we need to see now is the consistency year in and year out. It's one thing to reach that star status. It's another to become one of the true superstars in our league. And here's Beasley after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Great recognition of the defense. Zion took what the offense gave him and knocked it down. Thompson inside the line. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Over Wiggins. And it's Ingram missing. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. Curry shot is off. And that was a heat check right there. First miss of the night, but still shooting 80% as a team. Ingram outside, and Holiday kicks to Williamson. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Williamson's got his second bucket of the game to go. Duncan left side, taken away by Holiday. Curry against Beasley. Warriors with the rebound. Their last encounter was in New Orleans where they were able to handle the Pelicans. Not a close contest either the last time they got together. Everyone in the rotation played solid in the bench was the difference. Great scoring output from that second unit. Such a luxury to have that extra ammunition. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. And here are the Pelicans now. There's 154 left to play in the first quarter. One forty-three left in the first. Outside night. Here's Duncan. Oh, good with the triple. For New Orleans, they've gone five of eight from the field, shooting over sixty-two percent. We've got one eighteen left in the first quarter. Just five to shoot. Gallinari. And Gallinari throws it down. Leaving no doubt about that one. Gallinari active getting to the rim. 
and he gets it to go. Junior's got six. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Ingram kicks to Gallinari. Forty-six seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Gallinari on the wing. And it's New Orleans scoring again. He'll do this to you all day. Gallinari working off the ball, getting the look he wants. Pass to Pascal. Back to Duncan. Golden State moving it around. Knight passes to Junior. And stolen by Williamson. Knocked away. Here's Poole, covered by Williamson. Pass to Smilagic. Misses the three. A shot missing. Brandon Ingram. He's been the guy making things happen for New Orleans. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And Greg, you feel like that pressure never really got to Holiday. Uh, one of the toughest guards in the league, mentally and physically. He's a machine that just keeps on coming, no matter the circumstances. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you guys think? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And you can't cause those mistakes unless you're willing to gamble. So far, they've rolled the dice, and it's paid off. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade. Oh! That's a great dunk! Freakish, yes. athletic, unbelievable play. Wow. Whether it be rebounding, driving the ball, in transition, Zion always looking to attack. Now the pass to Wanamaker. Down low. Duncan kicks to Carroll. Passes it to Junior. Here's Wanamaker to the middle. That shot is off. Some solid defense from Gallinari. Pelicans leading by four. Out to the right wing. Here's Alexander Walker. Carroll with the rebound. Missed opportunity wide open for mid-range. He would love to get that one back. And the basket by Pascal. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. And because of the versatility, Pascal is a guy you can kind of plug into almost. The first half is now in the books. New Orleans on top, up nine. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. Holiday and Ingram out on the perimeter. Williamson out there with Jackson Hayes. And it's Beasley in at the point guard. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Ingram against Wiggins. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards down anyway. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Rockets, lit up the floor. He added 33 points and was his usual dominant self on the glass. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it. He took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. It'll be interesting to see, Greg, how much of that performance carries over to tonight. And, Kevin, different scenarios offer different measures. I'm sure he'll just try to provide whatever they need for the win. Well, that's what it means to be unselfish, putting the team's interests first. As you say, he just wants to come away with the W. Pelicans shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. To the inside, and stolen by Williamson. Has to be Ingram outside. 
Ingram drawing the double team. Williamson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Junior. A true physical specimen. It's tough to keep up with Zion's athletic ability. And both free throws, good for Williamson. And Williamson's parents, Sorry. both college athletes themselves, were a guiding force in helping him grow his game. When you're talking about growing his game, Greg, at an early age, Zion told his mom he wanted to be the number one player in college basketball. As a five-year-old, he played on an AU team for nine-year-olds. By age nine, he was waking up for 5 a.m. workouts. That's the kind of commitment it takes to succeed, even that early. And it's time for an injury report. Well, guys, I was able to catch up with the Warriors' head athletic trainer. He told me it looks like he broke his toe, and that's why he's in so much pain. And if he misses a lot of games, it will obviously be a big blow to their chances of winning it all this year. David, thanks for checking in. On top of it is all. It's interesting. Even with the advancements in strength and conditioning, injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. Curry against Beasley. Williamson in the post. Curry against Beasley. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And the Warriors with some changes. Smiley Geach has checked in. And it's Eric Pascal in for Wiggins. Curry against Beasley. Duncan high post over Gallinari. And the shot is good. The Pelican lead has been cut down to four on the bucket from Junior. It's amazing how Junior can just flip the switch, turn up the activity level. Big night for him. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, easy call. The Pelicans have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Being aggressive and getting to the line, this is when Gallinari's most efficient. And the Warriors making a change here. Pools checked in. Gallinari against Duncan. 158 left in the third. And the shot is good. The Pelican lead has been cut down now to just four in the basket from Poole. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And the Pelicans miss again. The Warriors have gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. Here's Junior. Goes up again. And he lays it up and in. Now just a two-point Pelican lead. Gotta love the hustle from Junior. When he works hard on the glass, he's rewarded for his efforts. Alinari outside. It's good. Alinari's got 10. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Trailing by four. Knight passes to Junior. Golden State moving the ball around. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Story. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Inside, here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. Rising up with force. Junior wasn't going to lay it in. Locking it in on the throwdown. Pass to Williamson. Gallinari against Duncan. Gallinari attacking. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Williamson finds Gallinari. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. 
Story. Oh, no good on the triple. Knight looking it over. Off target from outside. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Pelicans lead by five. A New Orleans back in a moment. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. On the court for Golden State here in the fourth. Eric Pascal out there with Duncan. Then there's Bullock. Then it's Wiggins, and it's Poole in at the point. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Oh, the lob to Gallinari, and Gallinari throws it down. Again, calling his number. Gallinari is built to score. He's been deadly all night. Timeout called the Warriors. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Here's Curry. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. Unselfish play right there. Curry with the patience to wait for someone to break free. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Here's Junior, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And not backing down from the physical defense. Junior embraces taking on these challenges. Ingram, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And the Warriors also making a change. Thompson's checked in. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Ingram outside. And it's Junior with the rebound. Duncan's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got five assists in the game. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. Higgins against Ingram. And again, New Orleans has no luck. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. It's a one-point game. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game, and it's in Atlanta. And that will be game three of six played away from home. Holiday, the pass to Hayes. There's the dish to Ingram. Ingram drawing the double team. From deep, Gallinari. Pelicans keep it alive. Hayes trying to break through. It's tough to get past Junior when he's locked in. Opponents might have to challenge someone else defensively. Inside, 11 feet away, and the jumper is good. Now it's a four-point warrior lead. It feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I got a chance to find out what Alvin Gentry talked about with his players. Yes, they're behind right now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. And Wiggins throws it down. Verticality gives Wiggins the upper hand. Almost unstoppable once he's midair. And stolen by Junior. Wiggins drives in. Golden State moving the ball around. The shot by Thompson, no good. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Zion Williamson's checked in for going on. That free throw good from Thompson. I would love to see Clay Thompson get to the line a little bit more. Thompson hits about 85% for his career. The wide open look here for Holiday. Off the mark and the drop continues. Warriors leading by nine. Down low. Out to Thompson. 
Duncan right side. Back to Thompson. The pass to Duncan. Six to shoot. The shot's good. And you know what? They've been on a nice run here. Had the ability to widen the gap. Now they are rolling. I totally agree. They just can't be stopped. They're just firing on all cylinders. Holiday inside the line. Ball's knocked loose. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Holiday. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Golden State's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. And now, as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Warriors. Their hard work on the glass paid off. I tell you what, they're both excellent rebounding teams, and it was a tough battle underneath all game. And I think ultimately that earned the W. And this will now push it to a total of 44 games in the win column on the season. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Duncan. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Tries it from 19. And it's Ingram with the rebound. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Kicks it out to Williamson. That one a little long. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. So long, everyone.